Hi Resonators, welcome back to Tamiosity. This is just a quick little video to show a personalized gift I made for a couple that got married at our wedding venue. <laughs> Explain to me the satisfaction here. Why is it so satisfying to watch this video? It's almost as fun as doing it. I love weeding. People that do these projects love weeding. What is that? Can you guess what it says yet? Ta-da! For Mr. and Mrs. Elwood. If you've never worked with vinyl or you're new to creating something on a Cricut or a Silhouette, etc., uh, what I have to do here is put this on transfer tape and then take that image and transfer it to the art project. So that's just masking transfer tape. I find that works the easiest. Your project doesn't actually stick to it. It's just a medium to move it. Kind of burnish that down. And then we'll peel it back. We got a bunch of these crusty old fajita pans from a restaurant that had closed, bought it in an auction. They were disgusting. You should have seen them. You may not ever order fajitas again. Anyway, I just thought it would be something that would make a great project for upcycling. So I poured resin in here. Um, at the time that I made this project, I did not record any of my resin pours. So I don't have that to show you, but do love the colors. The pan was painted in a rose gold, and then the colors in there are mica powder, and I also used some foundation, some powder foundation to create one of the colors. Love how that turned out. Just that little hint of turquoise is pretty. And the turquoise lettering is perfect, it just pops. Just trying to find the perfect placement for their last name. I don't know why I struggle with that so much. Do I want it crooked? Do I want it straight? Uh, anyway, I finally figure it out. Wait, do I figure it out <laughs> or did it figure it out for me? Cause I kind of stuck it on there and these this vinyl, once you stick it down to the resin, it just sticks. There's no way you're gonna move it again. So it kind of figured it out for me. Now that I have that in place, I'm just gonna come back with some clear resin to top coat that. And that Elwood will be there forever. I hope they stay married as long. I'm just using a heat tool here to pop some bubbles. Want to make sure that's nice and clear so we can read the L wood underneath. Now that I have the bubbles worked out, I'm just tilting the pan a little so that the resin evenly top coats the surface.
Here's the final project. The bride and groom loved it. Thank you for watching Tammyosity. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.